This is Angelus de Mortio with another multiplayer build guide for Dragon Age Inquisition. Today we will be building the Silent Sister as a specialized striker. A striker is a role focused on mobility and single target burst DPS. A bit of backstory on this build. I had been previously putting together a second build for the Assassin centered around blade combat without the use of stealth. When the Silent Sister was released, I realized quickly that my assassin build would be outshined by an almost identical build on Pala. This relentless barrage of death, whose lethality is only matched with the grace by which it is delivered. Enter the Blade Dancer. The Silent Sister is a rogue warrior hybrid, wielding dual daggers and medium armor yet also possessing built-in 1% guard on hit similar to the Katari. This added durability gives Paula the sustainability to stay in fights far longer than other dagger rogues, yet maintain higher DPS than most warrior builds. Let's get started. First, we have Spinning Blades. Spinning Blades launches a whirlwind torrent of blade strikes at any enemy within 6 meters of the sister, lashing out with 5 strikes dealing 100% damage each. Even with the base ability, the damage output is quite good. Expounding further if you have the Spinning Blades ring, which increases the damage to 125% per hit. The upgrade, Never Ending Spin, hits the enemy an additional 4 strikes if any of the first 5 strikes connect with an enemy. An important note with this upgrade, the final strike will knock most enemies down that it hits. Next we have Flashing Steel. This was a duelist specific dagger skill that sees the sister spin around hitting any enemies within range of her daggers and dealing 300% weapon damage. But that number is a bit of a misnomer, because each dagger hits for 300% weapon damage independently, meaning some enemies may be hit twice. The upgrade, Defensive Spin, replaces the Duelist Massive Damage bonus for 6% guard generation per enemy hit with Flashing Steel. Yes, that does stack with the sister's built-in 1% guard per hit. Then we have Lunge and Slash. This sword and shield warrior skill sees the sister lunge forward about 12 meters towards an enemy, twirling and striking a second time if the lunge connects, dealing 175% weapon damage per hit. It is also an impact detonator. The upgrade, Great Lunge, applies a 25 times damage bonus per hit if you lunge at an enemy from at least 10 meters away. As with the Lunge and Slash on other warrior classes, despite claiming to do less damage at 5 meters, it appears to not actually have any effect. Finally, we have Hidden Blades. Hidden Blades is a ranged attack that sees the sister throw a dagger at the enemy, which manifests shadows of you to appear from all sides and strike the enemy three times for 300% damage per hit. The upgrade, Overkill, adds an additional three strikes to Hidden Blades and reduces the cooldown of the ability by four seconds. For those keeping track, Yes, that's 1,800% weapon damage, with most of the hits usually triggering flanking damage bonuses. Now, before we start our dance lessons, let's talk about passive, synergy, and scalability. Unforgiving Chain grants a stacking 2% critical chance bonus per hit on an enemy until the sister lands a critical hit, then it resets and starts over. Looked Like It Hurt restores 10 stamina every time the sister lands a critical hit. Flow of Battle reduces the cooldowns of all abilities by 1 second every time the sister lands a critical hit. Furious Blow grants a 50% movement speed bonus for 8 seconds every time the sister lands a critical hit. 
The synergy here should be obvious. More critical hits means more stamina, lower cooldowns, and faster movement. Pairing this build with gear that maximizes cunning and critical chance is recommended, but this can be ignored if your rogue promotions reach a certain level. Turn the blade and turn the bolt add a solid amount of defense against non-flanking attacks. As this defense is a percentage reduction, it scales well with difficulty. Salty Sea Dog, another port from the Duelist, has a nice dual purpose of granting 5% damage reduction per enemy within 5 meters, or if no enemies are present, it grants a 25% stamina regeneration bonus. So the strategy for the Silent Sister does play similar to the Assassin, despite the guard generation and defenses. This is designed to move around behind enemies and flank them in order to maximize damage, or eliminate enemies on the wings of an enemy group. On lower difficulties, with high grade armor, you can stand in the face of enemies and laugh at their attacks, but harder difficulties do encourage a bit more compartmentalization of roles, so just bear that in mind with a few tips. Number one, if possible, let high defense warriors initiate combat to draw the most threat. Number two, stay on the outside of enemy groups and don't get surrounded, flanking whenever possible. Three, use lunge and slash as a means by which to close on distant targets on the wings of enemy groups. Number four, Despite the guard generation, evasion and movement are still the best defensive tactics. With that in mind, the opening rotation I usually start in my rolls go like this. Hit a strong enemy from a distance with hidden blades. Close on a group of weaker enemies with lunge and slash. Unleash spinning blades on them. Finish with flashing steel on the survivors. Despite two of those skills, spinning blades and hidden blades, having a 65 stamina cost, the combination of deep reserves, look like it hurt, and salty sea dog makes stamina near endless. Also, steps two through four of that combination can very easily finish the cooldown on hidden blades, granted you have at least 50% critical chance or better. This build weaves a web of death and destruction across the battlefield, yet strangely manages not to make Paula nauseous with all of the spinning. The intricate deadliness a Blade Dancer bestows to the Inquisition makes this build both amazingly fun and pretty effective. As I always say, this is not the best build. There are no best builds. Have another way to build the Silent Sister? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, this is Angelus de Mortiel, signing off.